probably like. There you go. Saying? You know they do. They these motherfucking other nations. They do look in the mirror. They do know they ugly, man. Yeah, yeah that thing goes forever on yeah. when it's on you know? one bar. It goes. They had it on one bar yesterday, and it and stayed on that one bar for, for like a half hour. Time too, because yeah, she didn't get it the yeah. first time. Yeah, oh. she had to go down twice. Yeah, for, <laughs> for real. Plus, the Most High gave her that. That's why it normally it would have been like ten hits, but Most High gave her a little strength. Took yeah, off yeah, two hits. that's more probably big, heavy as shit. Yeah, yeah. For real. No, keep your hands warm. Just put them in your nuts. <laughs> Do the out Bundy. Oh yeah, the Al Bundy. Oh shit, Al Bundy, we talking about, this is, this is a new video. And in the last video, we was talking about how Israel scattered among all nations. And that's why you can't judge people on appearance because Israel scattered. Hey, get that, you still got that Tobit out? We gonna read that again. Yep. We gonna read Tobit again. You know what I'm saying? You can't read it enough times. You gotta repeat yourself over and over. See, repetition is key. Just like when you're on a football team, how, how, how do you get those plays down? You just practice them once? No, you gotta practice them over and over and over again. To, right, you're gonna run some laps. Oh, well, we ain't gonna make nobody run no laps. Hey, there's some camps out there that was actually making people do push ups and run laps. <laughs> Fucking crazy. That's some military shit. Yeah. Oh, then Nathaniel Seven, he had his people marching in the streets. Everybody was laughing at him. He had, see man, you follow the wrong people, they have you looking like a fool. Yeah, he got, he, he, he got his shit like he was a civil in the army, like he might do something right now. Whoa, that's, he's already in the, uh, the Nathaniel Seven's a, a police officer. He's like a detective or something. So he already sold out. Yeah, he, he, there's no way you can get it. Yeah, he can't both do sides that. of the fence, man. You can't do both sides. You can't be like, okay, be a, a boy by the beast, and then jump back, like, oh, yeah, you have to uh, offer the Lord. Well, that's why he don't call on the name of the Lord. They laugh at the name of Yahweh Shah. They laugh at the name of Yahweh. They think it's a joke. So only, only they are, being a cop is a joke. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bring that Tobit again. Tobit 13 and 3. And, and notice how these scriptures that we read like this Tobit, a lot of them Israelite camps are not ever going to read this scripture. It's an it's a inconvenient scripture for them. They stay away from scriptures like this. They avoid them. They'll never read it. Read that. Tobit 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel. It said confess him. Confess who the Lord. Before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel. Keep going. For he has scattered us among them. For the Lord scattered us among the Gentiles. Keep going. I think there's more to that, actually. For the Lord scattered us among the Gentiles. That's why we got to go and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Son and the Father and the Holy Spirit. Uh, yeah, keep going. There's more to that. Tobit 13 and 4. There declare his greatness and extol him before all the living. Yeah, so we gotta, we gotta, uh, what's that word? We gotta give the Lord adulation and praises among all the nations. Because Israel's all over the earth, man. Daniel 9 and 7, too. Yep, you can get that if you want. I know, right here. It's cold to get in the scripture. Hard to get in the scripture. You finished with that one? <laughs> with that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is second answers two and um, I'm gonna start at six. I'm sorry, five. As for me, O oh Father, I call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children which would not keep my, you co want his my back? covenant. You that thou meat? bring them to confusion and their mother to a spoil that there may be no offering of them. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Be scattered abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth. Oh, you know what they're going to say now? Like, oh, that's in the Apocrypha. That's the same part of yeah, the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, since y'all say that, go read, keep going. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they have despised my covenant. Woe be unto thee, they Asher. So that's why Israel got scattered, is because they despised the covenant. So that's a punishment. To be scattered among the heathen, to look like a heathen is a punishment. Thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee, 
um, all of our wicked people. Yeah, we're wicked. So Israel's a wicked people, a wicked, backwards, filthy people. <laughs> right. Two thirds of Israel's filthy. Remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah, whose land lies in clods of pitch and heat of ashes. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. America is going to suffer the same fate as Sodom and Gomorrah. It's going to be turned into a heap of ashes. <laughs> Even so also will I do unto them that hear me not, said the almighty Lord, Yahweh. What, yeah, they saying it's cold outside. Oh, don't worry. The Lord will heat it up for you. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get hot. Don't worry about that. You'll be ready for uh, like a, what's that movie? Uh, the Day After Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You're going to wish the day like that happened. Oh, yeah. It's going to be straight hot. But since they say we can't use it, what if somebody say, you, oh, that's in the apocrypha. I got a scripture out of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 30 and 1. That shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse. He just talked about that. In, uh, what was that you just read? Where's you at? I forgot already. Uh, second Ezra. Second Ezra. Oh, yeah, Second Ezra. When all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whether the Lord that God have driven thee. So the Lord uh, drove Israel among all the nations and shall return unto the Lord thy God and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and will have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. And if any of thine be driven unto the outmost parts of heaven, where's the outmost parts of heaven? That means America's at the outmost parts of heaven. Out, up in the goddamn Easter Island, that's one of the outmost parts of heaven. <laughs> Easter Island, yeah. The goddamn Eskimo up in the damn North Pole. Yeah. They even got Israelites up in the goddamn North Pole. That's a bad scripture. Well, that goes hand in hand with uh, Revelation 7, chapter 2. Oh, yep. We can get that hand too. Hand. If any of thine be driven I out to, one, to the utmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence he will fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee which persecute thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments which I commanded thee this day. I could keep reading all day, but that's the point, man, because Israel scattered among all nations. You can't get around it, and you can't tell us otherwise. If you're not teaching this, you're not teaching the truth whatsoever. If you're not teaching that Israel scattered among all nations, the Lord's going to destroy you. He's going to destroy your children. He's going to kill your wife. Okay, You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the end of you. Ezekiel 7 and 16. No, I'm sorry, it's like it's 11, 11 and 16. Therefore say, thus said the Lord power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Yeah, look, we in a little sanctuary right now. That's why we don't have no big mega church. You know what I'm saying? No big ass church with a million followers. With a damn um, touring uh, band in the background playing and shit. Like that do tours and shit. Jesus, Jesus, you know? Jesus. <laughs> Whitney Houston as your lead singer. Hey, he just read it again, once again. It said Israel is scattered. Scattered. Among the heathen. Among the, among the Gentiles. Therefore say. You can't get around this, man. Thus said the Lord power, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered and I will give you the land of Israel. Right, because right now we don't possess, Israel's our... Um, 
and they shall because right now we got a bunch of goddamn edomites possessing our land so-called jews in the state of israel there's, there's nothing, they're not israelites they're a bunch of devils but they're a bunch of rats they're a bunch of thieves a bunch of swindlers they're a bunch of uh cocksuckers look at everything in the book right everything oh here here's another one for you though but even though i said that now here's something but here's something a lot of these uh fake ass hebrew israelites would never teach because you got israelites that even will look like a rabbi wearing a goddamn yarmulke or a kippah we're dressing all black with the duke you know what i'm saying yeah. it, it can happen y'all ever seen the movie uh, the uh, show come on um uh bt uh sisters no i heard about it seen no no i seen that with I that heard of it. The, the the tall mixed one the tall i know he's talking about yeah her dad's a fucking jew really yeah but she a jake though yeah she gotta be so her dad hadn't been a jake man i did see that show i thought she was kind of hot yeah she probably, all them bitches is bad man I like she's real silly bitch though. right both of, yeah. both of the two light-skinned ones are silly as hell yeah i real remember silly. that show real silly but she's a you know she's obviously she's a jake i was watching that bitch dance on the talk show but what about lenny kravitz yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody try to say Lenny Kravitz is an Edomite. I don't. They, they just, they just judging off of his dad. skin. Just cause his dad white. Man. I don't want to talk about Jake. Cause that motherfucker got some music that nobody. I can get. Cause that when you really listen to it, he got touch. some shit, don't he? That motherfucker bad as hell, man. He got some good he, shit. He, let's put it this way: his first two albums was bad as hell. But he produced all of his own shit too. Yeah, he he, he produced. Saw, can't sing. <laughs> Uh, he saw I can't sing. You ever hear them rat, them Jew rats sing over there? They have a party. It sounds terrible. It sounds like it's the only thing I see either might sing was some opera. That shit was horrible. Well, that's probably them Jake singing that opera. When them Italians down there. Be, this had to be either Mike. Oh shit, yeah. This shit was horrible. Them Italians take that opera seriously. Is that good one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I done heard some if, good if opera. If you don't hit them notes right, they'll boo you. Boo your ass right out the I, yeah, I done heard some good opera, but this motherfucker I heard had to be either Mike. He had to be. Either I could sing this opera. He wasn't on rhythm, wasn't on point. Oh, uh, he probably Nothing. was. And he, sounded, and he had a peace speak ass voice trying to sing opera. <laughs> Yeah, that was an Edom right? Probably, they, yeah, you can tell Esau, because Esau got no talent. And they shall no come way. thither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof, and all the abominations thereof from this. And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new heart here within you. And I will take the stony heart out of the flesh, and I will give them a heart of flesh. Right, this is going into, because right now we can't keep these laws right because but in the kingdom everybody's gonna keep the laws perfectly ain't, ain't gonna be a single one of our people in the kingdom eating no goddamn pork ain't gonna be nobody eating no swine ain't nobody gonna be celebrating no christmas and no easter ain't gonna be none of that ain't gonna be no goddamn cutthroat drug dealing faggots ain't gonna, ain't gonna be no adulterous ass punk ass niggas ain't gonna be no goddamn whores and prostitutes and hookers ain't gonna be none of that shit. okay in the kingdom Everybody's gonna be in line. It's gonna be order. The kingdom of heaven is gonna be all about order. Right. That's because that's where you get the word ordinances. You gotta follow the ordinances. It's a dress code. You know what I'm saying? It's even a dress code. In the kingdom, we're gonna be following the dress code because we ain't following that right now. We're gonna have perfect garments. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Garments. They're gonna be beautiful. Yeah. Listen. To <laughs> Hey, right now our garment, this is the real garment right here is his word. You gotta put on the garments of the most high. That armor. That armor. Yeah, because we wearing breastplates of gold. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's get let's get that. Let's get that Ephesians. I'll get it. He says a golden prison. Hey, you have crazy shit like that. Have actual gold knitted in your clothes. Yeah, man, I'll be so bad, man. Took a skill seamstress to do that, and they did. You can that. do well. Gold is one of the. That's the beautiful thing about gold is you can melt gold down to as fine as a hair. Yeah. That, that's why gold is so valuable. That's why they use gold in uh, computer chips. And a lot of your computers have gold in them. You know, like your RAM. You know, your RAM cards that go on your computer. That's gold. They have gold on them. Yeah. Don't ever throw away RAM cards. They got gold in them. Yeah, but go, but gold. gold can be melted down to such a to a, to a hair. Yeah, that's, that's bad. Yeah. You know what I'm I, saying? I ain't know that. Yeah. 
hair. That's how they say it too. It's a hair color. The hair is like well, they got to do. They got to. They can melt it down so good. They got to have a machine do it. They have a um. It's like a. It's like a microscope. That's on the That's hooked up to a machine, a computer. Yeah, that they can do it. Put on the screen. Like, I actually seen it done. Yeah, and it and it blows it up. Yeah, it makes it real big. Right, so it's it easy. It's easy. You know. That's why gold is so valuable. You gonna tell me they didn't know about this shit back in the ancient world? Yeah, right. I'm here. Why do you think gold is so valuable? Why do you think the Lord said the gold is good? Why do you think them ball child bankers were brought up? Yeah, what? Oh, did you hear about uh, the Ukraine? They, 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 uh, somebody gave them some gold, and it was a uh, uh, gold-covered uh, lead bars. Damn! Uh, uh, and the goddamn wow. Jews would go there and get your gold, boy. Got them. <laughs> Got your ass. Got them. Saw them suckers coming. <laughs> That's funny, though. There's a lot of that thievery hey. going on right now. They know who's doing it, though. They yeah. know it's the bankers. Yep. You know? They know. They know. You see all these congressmen and senators, they, they, they bickering, they, they fighting. Yep. You see dude, the owner, the speaker. They tried, they tried to vote his ass yeah. out. And, and, and almost did. Almost got his yep. ass out of yep. there. So Boner. they having problems with each other, man. Boner, he's from Ohio, going. too. Is he really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Big fat. I didn't know that. He a big time faggot. I didn't know that. Why? Wow. I didn't know that. Show you, we in a key place, man. Ohio's a key spot, man. Yeah, Boner's full of shit, man. His last name's Boner. Boner. <laughs> How fucking gay is that? Yeah, he got clown. His name's Boner. Right there. Yeah, you know he got picked on when he was growing he up. Clown. He ain't changed his name neither. Uh -huh. He kept uh -huh. it as Boner. He, kept, he likes being called Boner. <laughs> yeah, he likes Boner. Yeah, he likes cocks. Yeah. He's a cock lover. Well, he sucks lots of cocks. Like to change their name. That's he funny, I watched that, that movie today, uh, this morning. Oh, uh, I finally seen The Road for the first time. The, the Road? road. Yeah, that's bad. Woo! That's that bad, bad. That's fucking bad as hell. It just makes you dream the whole time you watch it, man. Like, damn, it's fucking reality. Man. But it's coming. But it's coming. It's coming. I was going to bring out that revelation, because you quoted it earlier. So Seven. I can get, yeah. That day when they saw him, that day when all that shit coming, man. That bitch whose head you going to chop off. That's what that's <laughs> the opportunity. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm gonna get back to that. In that movie, that dude was holding no women. Oh, yeah, no. right, 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 right. Because right. <laughs> either they killed themselves, yeah, yeah, or they fucking uh, got hated. I think the last one was at the end, but the last one before that was the one they he saw running through the field. Yeah. Chasing them, they, yeah, getting they chased, make the cannibals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. wild. It's gonna be like that out here. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But hold on, yeah. I'm gonna get back to the topic we was talking about earlier. Cause we was talking about Israel scattered among all the nations. And he quoted Revelation 7, so I was just going to bring it out. You know what I'm saying? Just for the camera. And I, I bring the scripture out every week. And guess what? I'm going to bring it out next week too. If, if Lord willing, we out here again next week, I'm going to bring it out again. And then I'm going to bring it out again and again. Revelation 7 and 9. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man can number. Hey, give me a uh, second, Ezra's. Uh, That's what I'm just thinking about. Uh, the second chapter. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Get that. I think I'm gonna get that. What do you say? Put the crowns on their heads. Oh, second, okay. the second yeah, chapter. Right. That's that's uh, 13. No, that's second chapter. You talking about what? Second Ezra's two. Uh, Rev, or if you got something else too in there, you can get that too. But oh, I, talking about the Lord, when talking yeah, about the when they talking about the Lord, yeah. we can get that. I, 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 I if there's something about. else, we can get both of them. I'm just thinking, yeah, I'm about. Revelation seven and uh, nine. That's After fine. this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man can number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. So that proves further that Israel is scattered among all nations. Because it says right here that uh, and if you read the whole seven chapter look, I'll start at seven and one. No, that's uh, It's uh, talking about the hundred John Hans. Yeah, it's talking okay. about the 144,000. Oh, okay, yep. And then right after it mentions the elect, the 144,000 and it tells you this. Look, I'll read it real quick. John, uh, Revelation 7 to 1. After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, 
And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So who's, who's the servants getting sealed is Israel. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And you keep going and it tells you there's 12,000 from each tribe. So it's talking about Israel the whole time. And then it says, after this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne, before the lamb, clothed with white robes and with palms in their hands. I mean, it's a lot of reading, but it just proves the Israel scattered among all nations. What is the, when it says all nations, what does that mean? That means Israel scattered among all nations, among all kindreds. Yeah, you know this too, he said he, he couldn't count them. He couldn't count them, they couldn't Israel's, number because they're innumerable. Is, yeah. There's so many Israelites, it'll boggle your brains. Yeah, he'll literally boggle your brains. I'll go ahead and bring that out. This is um, second Ezra uh, 2 and 42. Um, I also saw upon the Mount Sinai a great people okay. whom I could not number. A great people, there it goes again, who I could not number. So Israel is innumerable, as many as the stars of heaven and the sands of the seashore, without number. And they all praised the Lord in song. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted which I marveled at greatly. And that's a, yeah, that's a prophecy of the Son of God, the one they called Jesus. That's Yahweh Shai. So I asked the angel, and it says, and Sir? My fault, but it says the same thing as Revelation. Isn't it beautiful how all the, so all the scriptures from the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Apocrypha, they all go together. Mm -hmm. So I asked Perfect the angel puzzle. and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and have con confessed the name of the, the Most High. They have confessed the name. What's the Lord's name? People try to say the Lord's name don't matter. Mm -hmm. Then how come it said we got to confess the name? Now are they crowned and receive palms. So, palms. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowned them and giveth them palms on their hands? So he answered, and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High that they have confessed in the world. That's what we're doing right now. We're confessing this. That's the only reason we're coming out here, is to confess the Son of the Most High. That's right. Then if you get, I greatly commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Most High, for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. Ain't that what we doing too? We out here confessing all the great wonders. All right, I'm gonna I'm get this right here real quick. I'm gonna get one more scripture to back this up. This is Genesis 26 and one. Actually, I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna just start at one. And there's a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Ambalek, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee, for unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries. You hear that? Unto thee I will give, unto thy seed I will give all these countries. And I will perform the oath which I swore unto Abraham thy father. And this is the key point I wanted to bring out. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven and will give unto thy seed all these countries and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice, kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes and my laws. That says Israel was going to be multiplied as the stars of heaven. That's more proof that Israel scattered among all the nations were innumerable. Just like Revelation said, a great number no man could number. And that's why we out here teaching. Actually, I'm going to get one scripture before we wrap it up for everybody. 
turns into ice cubes. We're gonna be like that. And we were in that movie, The Encino Man. The Encino Man, yeah, they Brandon got Fraser. <laughs> That's another Jake. I think Brandon Fraser is Jake. And he I mean, he in, a, he in a ton of movies. I don't know. He's supposed to be Jewish. Is he? Yeah, he, uh, he may, I've never seen a Jew that damn tall. <laughs> um, that fact that they're playing um, Independence Day. No, uh, yeah, well, Jeff just, Goldblum. He's supposed to be a Jew, too. It, uh, I always liked Jeff Goldblum for some reason. I never liked that fact. He, had a, uh, he was good in uh, Jurassic Park. That was my shit. I've seen that. My sons love that movie. I've done seen it a hundred times. classic, man. The first one? Yeah, that's a classic, man. All of them are good, though. Yeah, I want to I wanna, I end this on this script. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going I'm to end the video on this. I'm going to end it on this. I'm going to end it on this real quick. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I have not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because Israel's a lost sheep. That's why we said Israel scattered among all nations. That's the reason we out here teaching. To wake up the Israelites. Lost sheep. And that's why we putting this video on YouTube. Why? We put this video on YouTube, where does it go? It gets beamed up into the to the ether, to the to the you know what I'm saying? It literally gets beamed up and to the unicorn. Up into the ether and people they, they pulling the video out the goddamn atmosphere and the Wi-Fi waves and the satellite beams. Yeah, yeah. Literally. That's bad, man. And, and this shit is getting beamed. Man, that's like your That's like your boy superstar Billy Graham got a video on YouTube. He's like, I'm on a satellite system. I'm on a laser beam system. <laughs> Getting beamed all around the That's world. One of my favorite wrestlers, man. <laughs> so we on that satellite system. We on that laser beam system. And this message and this truth is getting beamed all around the earth. This is to wake up the Israelites and scatter all Stop over the earth. <laughs> so with that, we're gonna bid y'all peace, farewell, shalom, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And death to all you faggots and you heathens. We hope you die a miserable death. <laughs> there you right. go. You can turn that off. Right. Uh,